today is Jesus. I think I'm going to bow down <laughs> to worship you, I live. To worship you, I live, I live to worship you. See, I don't need to go into church, touch some holy water, go to a confession on Saturday, get on some knee pads, and hear a boring message from the clergy. No. There was a guy here. There he is. He wanted to know how I talk to God. How does God talk to me? Great question. God talks to me through his word. When you read the Holy Bible, this is the only book ever created where the author of the book will speak to you about the book. Woo! So when I read the book of Acts, God is speaking to me as I'm reading. As I'm reading John 16, the Holy Spirit of God is speaking to me. When I read John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life you girls heard John 3 16 before Praise God. Praise God. Love the purple, ma'am. You're rocking it, lady. Rock it. Rock it. Rock that purple hair. Rock that purple hair. Rock it. I was going to get some pink in my hair the other day. Changed my mind. So here I am in Cork, Ireland. And... This city has been known for a few things. Anybody want to give a testimony about this city? Alcohol. Is that what you guys are known for? Are there a lot of drunks here? Oh, you're not even old enough to drink. How old are you boys? Are you drunks? Okay, good. I was an alcoholic, everyone, at 17 years old. My first drink was Jack Daniels, to my shame, because I was from Tennessee. So I picked Jack Daniels. I got sick, I threw up black stuff, but then, because I was part Irish, I'm going to admit it, I'm part Irish, so I, I do love you people. I'm part Irish, hallelujah. So I was an alcoholic. My genetics were alcoholism. But just because I once was an alcoholic doesn't mean I'm not going to die an alcoholic. I am not going to die an alcoholic because I have a relationship with God and I'm hooked into the power of God through the cross of Jesus Christ. The cross of Jesus Christ is foolishness to those perishing, but to those being saved. Woo, can I get a witness? To those being saved, the cross of Jesus is the power of God. I would not travel the world for a dead God. God is love. Hello, welcome. Welcome.
from? Come talk to me. Where did you come from? Where did you come from, Nike? You came from where? My mom. Okay, I understand that. I came from my mom too. My mom was Irish. She was 16, put me up for adoption. Where are you from? You're from where? You're from here? Yeah, I'm from here. Awesome, welcome. Are you from here as well? No, I am from the United States of America, everyone. My name is Angela. You know what? Just everyone up back off. Back off. Please. Uh-oh. You want some? Yes, I would. Thank you, sir. I believe in the shit you said. You believe in it? You believe in Jesus Christ? Come on now. What do you believe? Yeah, Are you yeah. saved? No. You need to get saved, young man. You need to get saved. Why are you playing with your soul? You read your Bible? No. You need to read your Bible. Obey it. Right. Obey the living God. Give your heart to Jesus. God doesn't want you to go to hell. Ooh. <clears throat> Praise God. Nice young man gave me a piece of chewing gum. God bless him. Listen, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. God wants to save each and every one of you. How many of you believe if there is a God that he loves? Raise your hand. How many people believe God loves people? There we go. We got one. Anybody else believes God is love? You guys believe that God is mean? Huh? Well, that's why I need to share my testimony because uh, the kindness, the kindness, the kindness of God drew me to repent of my sins. God saved my son from an abortion. I have a 26 year old son. His name is Nicholas. He looks just like me. He's good looking. Woo! Come on. God gave me my own cleaning business for 16 years called compulsive cleaning. God got me off of crack cocaine and alcoholism. Those are the three major things that God did for me that broke me and made me realize that the God I knew about my whole life loved me and that nobody was ever going to love me more than him. See, my son's father hit me. My son's father, one night in the car, pounded me on the head. I'm working, ma'am. I'm working. I'm the one that can teach you about Jesus. I have a personal relationship with Jesus. I am an ambassador of Christ. Hallelujah. I represent the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy. You know, a lot of religious people, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. No big loss. You got it back. Hallelujah. No God in Shrine Temple. Okay, that's Japan. I'm in Ireland. <laughs> the kindness of God draws man to repentance. 25 years ago. 23, 23 years I've been, okay. 21 years ago, in March, I won some tickets to a Christian concert. Jeff Moore. 
And Jeff Moore was a Christian. I had not been to church in a while. I was uh, already off of drugs, going to AA meetings. But I was not ready to face God at the judgment seat. And Jeff Moore began singing a song about the creation of God. And the Holy Spirit invaded my soul with how beautiful God's creation was, people. See, creation alone shows that there is a God. You and I are without excuse before God because of His glorious creation. And there was... He's in Chattanooga. He's 27, almost 27. He's almost 27. What? He's not on his diapers anymore. He's been potty trained, ma'am. My son has been potty trained. He's almost 27. It's okay for me to come to Ireland, amen? See, when you reach 18, you are an adult. Woo! I'm free, baby. I only got one kid. I am free at last, baby. Free at last. Hallelujah! I think I'll travel the world for Jesus. Hallelujah. Does anybody have any questions how to go to heaven? I'm talking about the kindness of God. And what happened to me? What happened to me? Ambulance. Yeah, that's all we are with ambulance. Can I just talk to you for a second? Oh. What in the world? The ambulance is here. You know, last year the police got the ambulance on me and they said, are you normal in the police department? And I said, yes, I am a normal Christian. If you read the Bible, you will see normal Christians preaching on the streets. It's normal to do this. It's called the Great Commission. I'm not drunk as you suppose, ma'am. I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. <laughs> I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. Listen, can I just say something? Yeah. There's someone after calling the guards, right? Calling who? The guards. I don't know why they fucking did that now, right? It's okay. But just to let you know, they're on the way. So Who's on the way? The guards. The guards. Okay, my phone's almost dead anyway. So, listen, okay. We just want to, like, just away from the circle, so. No, I can't. I, I'm in the middle of a huge meeting. I'm not taking anybody's tithe or offering. I don't need any money. I've come here for free. The gospel is free. Jesus said, freely you've been given, freely give. Here is the gospel. Are you ready? I'm fixing to throw the net right here. Here is the gospel. Jesus Christ died on the cross to demonstrate the love of God. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Jesus was buried. Blessed be his name. God raised Jesus from the dead. Oh, yes, he did. Yes, he did. I am a witness that God is alive. The God of the Catholic Church is dead. Not my God. God is alive! He was seen by over 500 people. I have had an encounter with God. I walk with God. I talk with God. He cares about you. 
What God. must I do to my be God. saved? My God. You must repent of my your God. sins and believe the gospel. Turn to Jesus Christ and be saved. Whosoever, I don't debate. Why? Because you can't. You can't. The Bible says, uh, God, be careful not to answer a, a fool. Your God is a fake. My God's more your real fake. than your God. Your God does not exist. It's inside your head. You know where your God is? On a dashboard a named Buddha. I don't have How many of you think he bows to Buddha? 